Okay, you got a stun gun thing, and what's this? There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down. Oh, hey, a book. Eagle of South Wolf of North. Oh, son of a butt. All you right. still had the ribbon on you. Because I forgot to put it away like a moron. November 29th, 1967. Trevor's Diary. Gee, Trevor's Diary. Mm. Can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality. I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde in those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? First, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor was like a reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica! I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days, and I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was dark and damp underground. It was dark and damp underground tunnel. I'm at the dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match and see what it was. A grave! But deeply engraved in the stone was my name. George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into the trap. It's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. Press it. This is, this is creepy. I, ah, Scooter. This is really close quarters. Hopefully you kill it fast enough. Ah, uh, you got sp splished and you don't have any more healing items on you. You're poisoned. Mm -hmm. No, this isn't good. There's a map of the basement or B1, yeah. Oh, the, a discarded shell of what? Molting, of a molting spider. spider. But there's something else down there too. Why can't you access it? <gasps> Another one, or was it the same? It's gone. Different spider. We need to get some of those blue herbs again. I... Speaking of... Oh no. <gasps> Why are you facing the right way? Ah! Wait, there's more coming through the walls? Yeah, he just walked right through the wall. Uh, there's nothing you can expend or put down so that you can use those healing orbs. Or it's super tempting items. to actually just reload and clear my inventory a bit. Yeah, let's... Let's reload. Yeah, let's reload. Clear it out. I Burning things, I think, is secondary now. Especially because a lot of this stuff is super linear. But, like, I can clear up at least three inventory slots. And I'm just going to take this... Uh, I'm just going to use the shotgun for the spider. Mm -hmm. Spiders. Yeah, make sure you put the ink ribbon away. Yep. And have at least one poison healing item on you, the mixed herbs with the blue. Uh, there was a there was a blue herb right after the spider. Oh, that's true. So, no sense, no sense bothering. Poor G. Trevor. What happened to his family? Sucks so hard.
I... I think after I'm done with this game, I might have to sit down and read the lore. Because I, I feel like there's probably a lot more that... Well, apparently he designed the mansion. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That's been a, it's been a while since we've had a lightning strike in the game. Oh, yeah. Y'all be good. It was double for you, show. <laughs> that lore is many nights of reading deep. Yeah, I figured as much. Like, this will probably be the year where we play Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and Darkseid Chronicles. Darkseid Chronicles again? Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's that painting again. Caravaggio paintings. Mm-hmm. Those are some high-res Caravaggios, too. Uh-huh. Compared to the rest of this. It's interesting, because there's the one with the lady killing... What was it? Hollow Furnace? And then... The other one looked almost to be like Isaac preparing to sacrifice his son. Or was it he was sacrificing his son, Isaac? And the angel was saying, you know, are you willing to do this? And it was because he said he was that God was pleased with him. It was it Abraham and Isaac? Yeah. Yeah. Eagle of South, the Wolf of North. Mm hmm. But. I see. Some of the Resident Evil books are good. I didn't actually know there were Resident Evil books. Video games at this point have novels attributed well to expand upon the lore. I mean, even MMOs do. True. World of Warcraft has a number of books, and well, I mean that might just be an extension of Warcraft lore, but there were even a couple for Guild Wars. Definitely a number for Mass Effect. Novels have they made? I think I've seen plenty of Warhammer novels. Yeah, Warhammer goes nuts. Obviously, D&D and the Forgotten Realms. Oh, gross. Oh, the map. Don't forget that. Not that it matters too much. There's only a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get that cartridge. I'll get it eventually. There we go. Ten shells is not enough. through the environment. Creepy. Unless there's a hole in the wall. Wait, the, the one on the ground was getting up? Yes, I shotgunned <gasps> him. Are they gone for good? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. How about the blue herb? I'm not poisoned this time. Mm-hmm. Wait, you took the red one. Well, why don't you mix them all together and make the super herb? I, uh, I need a green. So you can combine, oh, you can't combine them when they're already made into powder form? No, I, I can't combine red you... with blue. Right, I think they can only be combined with green. Weird. Look at 
do the words on the cover mean? Ah, oh, there's metal hidden inside the book. Oh, and there's three dots on it. Is there a special way to use it? Wait. Was it Wolf South, Eagle North, or the opposite? Wander, do you remember? Nope. I mean, we can check the footage freely. Power supply for the elevator. Fuse is blown out. Switch over. I mean, maybe the book is in the diary entry. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Hey, what's this room? I don't know. Oh, I see. So you're going to be going into a room where there's a... Yeah, so there's an elevator to go further into the basement. Anything on the walls to look at? Or is it just junk and detritus? Oh! Oh. Handgun yeah. ammo. Could heal. Might as well heal. Oh yeah, there it is. Seal of the Raccoon City on a broken dish. Well, they did say that the city and the arm and the army were behind some of this. Yeah. I can come back for it a little bit. Oh, hey. Thank you, Nuno, for the sub and welcome. How are you doing tonight? We are getting spooked. What? Shell, I don't know. And I do have to thank. You don't need to glare at me. Like, Where? we're gonna leave the ammo behind. Mm -hmm. For a bit. What? Shell? No, 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 no. It's not about you or that. Okay. Yep. Yep. There we go. Is this some kind of mess kitchen? Down yeah. There? Okay, he's good. And we're at. Ah, uh, more handgun ammo. It's fine though, because we're actually. Can't you refill your handgun with the ammo, or do you have to have an open slot? I have to have slot? an open slot. Meat from an unidentified source. Well, there's a dagger. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's grab the dagger. I, I'm i assuming they're giving us a bunch of daggers because of... The zombies are human. Back around here again. Um, yeah. But we want all these handgun ammo caches because you don't have anything left. Yeah. Well, I have the shotgun. And shotgun's got plenty of ammo for a little while. Yeah, if you just used an herb or something. Hmm. But, like... Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get back down here easily. Come on. What? What's wrong? Emblem of a sword. Wait, what? What do you mean? We needed the sword key? <sighs> the one door I didn't bother unlocking. And now we have all these corpses. Well, he's new. So we have to come back down here. Yep. Yeah, that that guy on the ground, I did not kill. Mm-hmm. Which means... He'll come back. Probably. Well, we'll good. come back and grab the shotgun ammo. I well, Now we know handgun that's... handgun ammo. Oh, yeah, handgun ammo. It's two things, a handgun ammo. Oh, boy. This doesn't look good. <gasps> oh! oh! This is what I meant. Shoot it. He's gonna get up again. Shoot him. Ah. There's a bunch of herbs there, but... We've never been in this room.
Okay. <sighs> Easy peasy. Any more foesies? No. Okay, so we're going to go use the storeroom, then we're going to come back. Yeah, at least we have the elevator now, plus I can go use the uh, sword key. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Wait, wait a minute. We've been in this hall before. We have. That said, enemies respawn, so who knows what the heck. What? What's around here? Yeah, because we could have a bunch of fast zombies all over the place. I was particularly... Well, we were pretty good about burning everything, with the exception of all the new ones down in the basement that you just didn't get to. Yeah, so if we're lucky, this is actually going to be real calm. Because I was so freaking thorough. Mm hmm And you still have two kerosene... Mm hmm uh, Well, you still have... Two uses of the kerosene, and then if you really wanted to, you could go out and get more, but... But yeah, I, I've been wondering for ages, what the heck are we supposed to use the sword key on? And it was that one stair. I'm gonna put the metal... Yeah, you can put the metal away. Yeah, for the time being. Uh, let's see, we need this. Oh. I guess let's just grab all the handgun ammo. Mm -hmm. And the sword key. And you only have one save reel, so we might as well save it for later. Yeah, because I, I saved it the other one. Oh, what's that door over there? Uh, which one? That Be one over there? Oh, behind the red. Oh, that's the tiger door, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's the one that requires the gems. Mm-hmm. Let's see, I wonder will you go back to MoonQuest now that it's released? Maybe? Actually, didn't know it was released. Unfortunately, developers tend to ignore me after the f initial release, and that's always a... Okay, those those windows look pretty stable. Watch the windows here be fixed, and there's more zombies going like boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I don't know if we've ever heard this music before. We also did not burn those zombies. Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, those are one of the few that we didn't. Oh, you know who we also didn't burn? Who? The other cop. Yeah. Well, I thought he got swallowed. No, no, the one... The, the initial one that was getting killed by a zombie. Well, there was the one outside that we didn't No, kill. no, like the one very early on. Mm-hmm. this area no further use for the sword key yeah I just I've been wondering for so long what are we gonna use the the sword key on the answer is I guess we just missed this door because I didn't think going <gasps> this is the kitchen again okay well now we have handgun ammo for days a little bit more over here and we'll be good to go Hopefully the zombies don't come back up. Okay, so the one that got eaten by the first zombie you saw, that one does not turn. Hey, that's good. Because the last time I had to kill a cop buddy, it sucked. Okay. You didn't want to grab all the other herbs down the hall, or did you? We already did. Okay. We were actually pretty thorough. So the question is, do we head for the elevator again? The answer is yes. If we have no further use for this downstairs area, again... I guess that guy just doesn't get back up. Weird. Well, yeah, we have no further use for this area, so we're good. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Never have to go back there again. And I'm not... I'm not necessarily sure if we're going to have to go through a lot of these corridors again. Oh, there's that guy. Yeah. So, we have two zombies in this hall. If we're lucky, we can clear it out and not have to come back through here again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I can always get a little... Uh, I can get a bit burny if it, if it makes you more comfortable. 
We just only have so much. It depends on if you think you're going to come back through this hall again. Unsure. Because then this guy will pose another threat, but... Cross bridges. Knob is broken. Oh, there's a moth out there. Oriental scroll on the wall, but the picture is. Oh, wait, on it is Western style. I mean, you got some stuff like that. Mm. I would love to have more wall scrolls. Because I think I'd prefer them over posters. They're more durable. Oh, hey! Look at all these rounds. Oh. And a battery. Yeah, so we're going to have to come back. Yeah, because that's the battery we need for the garden. Ah. Uh, are you going to go down and get things into the storeroom? Yeah. Yeah, we'll store things away. I might want to burn these two. Mm hmm. Two? The two zombies in this hallway? Oh, I only remember the one. There's the one near the herbs, and then there's the one in the corner. I am slightly less concerned. The only problem is we are running out of ammo. <laughs> for the good gun. I My confidence level in this game is directly correlated... With how much ammunition With you how have. much shotgun ammunition I have. In a good situation. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the. I don't think there'd be anything out here. If there is, we'll just immediately peace. Oh, there are some more herbs out here. Because, yeah, we're just slightly injured. Might as well use that as we go by. Mm hmm. Further accentuating my hoarding tendencies. I'm curious what the, the time limit on an enemy turning red is. I don't know if it's completing another zone or... Yeah, I would assume it's less of an hour timer and more of like major events is kind of the switch. So, any... so I would assume any corpses that you left in this house before going to the courtyard... Mm -hmm. We'll have turned. Okay, I'm going to put away the shotgun ammo for a little while. I don't necessarily know if... You have plenty of rounds of handgun ammo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll just use the, sh the handgun if possible. Um, Is there enough inventory space? For what were we picking up? The We needed the big the battery... And the, I think it was some grenades. It was like grenades and other ammunition. This should be enough. Oh. Was I going to burn them? Oh. Then the problem is you'd have the lighter and the kerosene in your inventory too. Uh... We can put away the key for a bit. Because this is just a loot run. Mm -hmm. You would think something like a mansion key wouldn't take up inventory. You just yeah. have it strung to your belt. I, I, I was going to say, like, from a somewhat chauvinistic standpoint, she could absolutely just, like, jam that in her shirt or something. Hey. And, like, Chris could absolutely just jam it between his tight, tight ass or something. Just wander around with a key. Look, instead of taking up belt pouch stuff that you know you might want to put your shotgun in. <laughs> your entire shotgun. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, people have other spaces that they could carry things in an emergency that wouldn't slow them down too much. It would be very embarrassing, possibly stinky, and quite uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm now imagining just... Chris Redfield walking around with just keys jammed into his mouth. Because he doesn't have to talk to anybody. No, that's true. Just like 
clutched between his teeth. Oh. I cleared out my inventory. But, but you didn't actually <laughs> get any of the kerosene and stuff. Oh, well. You dumb dumb. Don't be that dumb. I know I've said dumb dumb, but like, don't be too Okay, mean. sorry. Because how would you feel it if I called you dumb every single time you made a mistake? <laughs> No, you've just been using the word dum dum tonight. Yeah, so but I like there's such a thing as overdoing it, it. Okay, fine. A shelf full of dust covered what? Props and a deer trophy. Mm. Yep. Um also shove it into your shoe. I mean you could, but I really Ah, uh, that'd be a little uncomfortable. Yeah, you could also fashion a key ring, truth. Man, there's like not much left, is there? Mm -hmm. We're probably gonna go want to go drop this stuff off. You absolutely could make a, a key ring. Oh, yeah. Bend some wire. Find a place for it on your belt. Then they'd be jangling around a bit, though, and might alert the zombies, but then again. I mean, they're Trump, not too Trump, stealthy. Trump, 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 yeah. Trump. No, I'm, I'm okay with being dumb dumb here and there, but if I'm constant dumb dumb, then I get then I get grump grump. I think in a way we're rushing it a bit because we have been making substantial progress. I do really like the music for these restrooms. Oh, rest rooms. Rest rooms, not yet. Not the bathrooms. <laughs> Just Wesker's in the vents with a harp. Could you imagine if there was some millionaire diehard Resident Evil fan that decided to just make the mansion? Oh, that's more... Uh, hmm. Could you imagine someone doing that? Remaking the mansion, but obviously make it livable, but have the layout exactly the same. I could see... I could see a crazy pants person doing it, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly start uh, combining I always dreamed of having herbs. a library fashioned in the style of one of the rooms in Mist. No, oh, and I thought you were going to say, um, hmm? uh, like Beast's Library. Oh no, that would be way too big. No, I'm talking about having the right color scheme and eclectic sets of like lamps and furniture and such that would be reminiscent of the Mist universe. Because their stuff is, it's a bizarre combination of steampunk, but then also fantasy. And then also still quite, it, it's not so outlandish that you couldn't find things that would be obviously unique craftsmanship, but still possible and actually more likely to find in Earth. I don't know quite how to describe it, but it's not so far off from what we typically have in our own furniture that you can't find some craftsperson that makes something similar. You know? Mm hmm. So is this really the only rooms left? The one on the opposite side of the hall? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's see. I just saved the last save. Really? You used up the last save? Yeah. Hopefully we'll find more. So you can make a pocket using clothing from the infected. True. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is like, what, 98, right? 1998? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's like peak fanny pack time. She has like a She has a fanny thing, pack. But... but like, there's got to be somebody else that has a fanny pack around here. This is, this is the 90s. I love fanny packs. Ooh, what's behind this door? 
Don't know. <gasps> oh, oh, that eagle is turning to. to... I'm gonna go get the eagle medallion. Eh, let's check the room out first, I guess. Yeah, I. But that very much feels like eagle medallion territory. Unless lasers start firing from its glowing <laughs> purple eyes and it kills you instantly. It sets I... on fire. Well, we did just save. It, it is tracking you. And it has glowing eyes. Well, I know. That's why I was saying if lasers start coming out of those eyes, then I'd be... A... Mail to the chief of security. You want to get this? Attention? Okay. Chief of security, date... July 22nd, 1998, at 2.13. Very specific. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. One, lure stars to the estate and obtain Bogue's raw combat data against stars. Wait, so... This is a weapons test. Right, but I could only assume that... Since they're working with the T virus, bow is some kind of organic specimen, some kind organic of organic weapon. Yeah. Two. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Well then. Three. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals, disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. Do you think that this is being given to Wesker? Possibly. Bioorganic weapons. Because I could imagine that if Wesker is planted among stars, lures stars in, gets them all killed... And then, yeah, does everything that's being highlighted here. Hmm. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Incorporated. This is definitely one of those things where the eagle has to point a particular direction. I'm unsure. Oh wait, there's two of these? Wait, is there a door to another room? Possibly? No. No, okay. Can you look around the room a little bit more? I'll oh, switch here. Oh, it still sees you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But there's a deer head on the wall that's blinking. And what was it? A deer and a buffalo? Wait, is there a wolf head anywhere? Oh, a red jewel sits in... Oh, it's attached to something and refuses to budge. Well, we don't need a red jewel. We need a yellow jewel. What about the buffalo? Grenade shells. Can we look at the buffalo? Does it have yellow eyes? I'd have to reset the room, though. Oh, uh, you will. Yeah, it's yellow. Weird room. But if we get the yellow gem, then we'll be able to put it into the tiger head. I feel like we should watch the uh, Resident Evil 3D movies at some point. Oh, the 3D ones? I wouldn't yeah, mind that. Yeah, the one... All I remember is there's like a ridiculous bike scene <laughs> with Leon. I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, why isn't it glowing? Oh, there it goes. Glowing yellow jewel. It's attached to something and refuses to budge.
Is it because the eagle is there? I don't honestly know. Is it a weird situation where you have to have the eagle facing the opposite direction in order to take an eye out? But it consistently follows you. Oh, yeah, push on all the way underneath it. Oh, you can't inspect the eagle? No, like push all the way under and across I did. the room. Have you ever tried that? Does it still follow you? This this doesn't push any further. Oh, it doesn't? Mm -mm. I don't think I don't know if shooting them does anything. Can yeah, you shoot the deer head? Worth a shot. Uh, nah. Hmm. I, mean, I did just save. Uh, don't waste your ammo on it. I think it has to do something with this. I'm assuming eagle. it's a self-contained room, unless we're supposed to go get the bird. The problem was it was about a wolf too. Yeah, there was something about eagle or wolf north and south. Is there just the light switch in this room? Oh, why don't you turn the um, switch off? Maybe that will allow you to take the gems. Oh. You mean like... Oh, no. but now you can't even see the gems. Great. What moron would design this whole system? Well, you know, it was George Trevor. <laughs> you need to design this whole thing. What for? Uh, to keep a yellow gem secure. Okay, that sounds reasonable. What's the yellow gem for? Uh, well, when you put it in the, the tiger statue downstairs, it makes the tiger spin. Okay, why? Well, there's a secret compartment, too, in fact, behind the tiger. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. What's in the secret compartment? Bullets. <laughs> um. You, you want to run that by me again? Look, some at some point somebody's gonna need bullets, or they're gonna have to go through this convoluted process to get the bullets, which will make it harder for them because we can't let them have more bullets. Why? Because it'd be too easy. Okay. The thing is, does that hook into the eagle? I don't... I don't know, but we got an eagle talisman. Examine. Wait, but there's... There looks like there's supposed to be something on the other side. I'm just gonna walk up. I'm just gonna climb up to it and just wave the medallion at this. Well, I am thoroughly lost. I mean, if you shoot. Okay, if you stand still in front of the bison and you shoot or throw. Well, you can't really throw something across the room. Or do you have to, say, grab a blue gemstone in order to put it into the eyes of one of the other ones, or... No. It's definitely because the bird is watching you. Yeah. 
It only starts blinking when I'm up there. But notice how it's like a clank, clank. So I think if you want to take a gemstone, the eagle has to be facing the opposite direction that you are standing. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It lost sight of you because you went under it. I knew it. Remember when I was saying go underneath? Yeah, I thought you you were mostly insistent on. Oh, no, it caught sight of you again. It's okay. to go the other way. Yeah, you got the red gemstone. Not that we need it, but... So, yeah, I was right. The eagle has to be distracted. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, no. Take it. Yes, you got the yellow gem. Goodbye, eagle. Suck it, you damn bird. <laughs> so now we have a red gemstone. Um, and a yellow one. Well, we can definitely use the yellow one in the tiger. Yeah, might as well do that. <laughs> what do you think's in there? I'm betting something stupid, like save tapes. Probably the other umbrella medallion. Could be. That we need for the big elevator. I was thinking that would be up on the third floor. 